How's it guys, Garrett from Sutomo Lures. Today we're gonna go through the different lure heads that we make and hopefully help you pick the one that is right for what you're trying to do. And then you can take this knowledge and use it when picking out a new lure or maybe picking through one that you already have in your box. So hopefully we'll give you some good information. So starting off with the standard 9 inch bullet, um, again it's a pretty standard head shape bullet, a little bit of forward taper, a little bit of back taper. When you're looking at your bullets, your entry angle will tell you a lot about um, how the lure is going to run. So the pointier it is in general, the more it's gonna stay in a straight line and stay down. Cause it doesn't have a lot of face area to ride up on. Um, and then the head length is another indicator of how much the lure is gonna move around. So, so this is our flagship lure. Um, it's our main, shape that we use when we're hunting ahis um, has a really good track record for catching big yellowfin tuna um, works good on all species it doesn't move around all that much um, it doesn't completely stay down in the water but it does um, do a little bit of skittering just enough to give you some action but for the most part it stays in the water um, runs in a straight line with a little bit of you know, s skittering action kind of goes like that and that's our 9 inch um, moke bullet and then in contrast to that the invert shape which is this cup in the front of the lure overall design is pretty much the same except you know it's chopped off and a lot um, flatter in the front and I think this is a lure that people are not as familiar with um, but what this cup gives you basically is a surface that grabs the water so more resistance yeah when it's going through the water um, this lure will run a lot, pretty much in a straight line, and it'll only come up, grab some air, and then go back down. To me, it runs actually better and deeper than a bullet, and it works really well when the, you know, in windy conditions when you're trying to keep your lures on their side of the pattern, uh, invert face, because it's offering that resistance or staying um, its spot a lot better. Works good on all species, um, works good on ahis, especially when it's a little windy. It'll pop a little more when it's rough and windy, um, but when it's calm, it'll basically run like a bullet and it'll stay either under or in the water. So, um, the invert. And then the H1 bullet, which is a, it's a little bit, bigger it's you would call it a nine plus um longer and less tapery and more pointy and and a little more weight as well so this lure will against this one is more of the old the old school mentality where um you know heavy bullets stay in the water which we which they do but again a you know a streamlined shape that's gonna be prone to get moved around whereas the invert head will the, again that resistance will keep it in its spot so this lure is a lot more stable because of the length and, and when you look at a lure you, you kind of want to look at it like this um a lot of guys in general we tend to think of the lure head as you know from here to here but you know, the steps are basically included in your 
in your lure head, um, your skirts won't start to move until they're here. So longer shape, um, it's a lot more stable than the shorter ones. So in contrast to that, this head, which is a old head that we're just started to make again. This one is the blunt bullet. Shorter overall length. Um, and the entry on this guy is a lot more rounded. So this in this area here, it's a lot more rounded. And what that gives you, this is this particular bullet I would pick when it's moderate to calm because this low entry level or this broader entry level will the water will come along and push it up to the surface so this guy will skitter a lot more um, so if you you know you kind of want that on the calmer days you're trying to draw some action and this head will move around a lot more um, just think of this you can think of this lure as say like a Formula One car, shorter, um, and kind of designed to move around a lot. Whereas this lure would be more like, um, you can see the difference in the length, but this lure would be more like your um, dragster, you know, long, straight, heavy, um, not going to move around as much. So, and then going back to the regular nine inch, you, that would be, you know, kind of the um, in between the two extremes. So those would be the four main ones. Um, that we use when we're, you know, it's the heart of ahi season and we're specifically going after ahi. So you would, I would typically pick those four. Um, and then the nine inch plunger, same general shape, forward taper, and reverse taper to help drive it, drive it into the water. Um, this lure makes a lot of surface commotion if you are one of those that like to catch marlin um, you know this would be a good choice for you and then also my mice um, big my mice like this lure as well those two fish tend to be surface feeders so baits that crash the surface tend to get their attentions whereas ahis and onos for the most part they're subsurface feeders um, so lure that stays in the water you know the more the lure stays in the water the better in general your chances are so again the nine inch series you would typically use when you're after you know big fish or bigger fish um, there's always um, times when onos and mahis um, you know they're targeting a bigger bait so you might want to have a nine inch lure out there but in general we kind of only use those during ahi season so uh, moving on into the seven inch series